Well, I believe that work begets work, and good work begets better work. Uh, you know, an actor who works intermittently and from time to time, I mean, in, in the business, when an actor's starting out, uh, how to make an impression, I mean, how to make, make choices and how to fulfill those choices. Uh, and, and it's about craft, you know. In, in the theater, one only has to do it once in an evening. In film, you have an emotional scene which you may have to do uh, 20 times just out of the very nature of filming, you know. You do a master, you make a master shot, four or five takes on that without any uh, problems like a boom coming in or a soft focus. Uh, then you do a, a, a medium shot, a two shot with a 50 millimeter lens, and you do singles over the shoulders, then close ups, and maybe a choker. By the end of the day, you have to do that emotional scene 20 times. And to be able to do it 20 times, I have always said that, you know, if I tell you a joke and it's funny, you laugh. Now I tell you the joke a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time. If you can laugh and find that risibility each time you do it, you don't need my help. But that's the trick, to be able to start and bounce off the trampoline and, and fulfill that scene as best you can time and time again. And sometimes it's a, after a 12, 14, 15, 16 hour day which is, you know, you can't hang a sign on your chest saying, well, you know, I've, I've been working since six o'clock this morning and I'm tired because there's no, you know, uh, and, and you can have a, a, a physical scene or, or a highly emotional scene or a funny scene or uh, which you have to do at optimum. Filmmaking, you know, is, is a lot of people think of it as, as simpler than theater. I, f I think it's much harder than theater because of the repetition. And, and it's that aspect of it that I will talk a great deal about.